John here, guys, and today we are talking about the Hyperlite F4 OSD flight controller. Now, this, in my opinion, as of right now, which is June 2018, this is the best flight controller on the market. Now, what else do you notice about this board that is unique? Let's take a look at the size of these pads so luxuriously large the way that these things are laid out you also have on the underside a very nice boot button for all of your dfu needs and you have the pads on both sides so if you're mounting something below something on top you can mount it on either side no problem and there are holes for your pleasure if you are one of the people that prefers holes oh my gosh i cannot tell you working with a lot of the other flight controllers that either have only pads or only holes someone is always frustrated um, this is the best of both worlds now what are some of the other significant things about this flight controller other than it comes with the harness it comes with the gunnies it has the flat side and it has the boot button and the luxuriously large pads. Well, next, let's talk about the actual layout. So very quickly, I am going to show you what you can do with the flat side of that. So here is a uh, Floss 2.1 that I have built up. And as you can see, I have the flat side up. And I just have my VTX. This is the AKK FX3 review coming on this very soon. Um, and I have that just sitting there double-sided taped down. Now, the other nice thing is this thing does have um, M3 holes, this VTX. So I'll go into more detail about that later. But look how nice this is. I can just attach anything to the flat side. I could put my VTX and my receiver if I wanted to. This is my preferred way of setting it up. Now, let's look at another one here. Now, this is a stack that's set up ready to go but I have wired up slightly different now. Well, you can see I have my VTX mounted the same way. Now let's look down under here. What do you see here on this side? These three pins are for my camera. Video five volt ground, boom. These three pins are for my receiver. S bus five volt ground right here, boom. All three in a row. And what do we have on the other side here? You have four pads in a row here. Now these four pads on the top are Smart Audio, Ground, VBAT, and VTX Video In. You can also do Ground and 5V on these two pads directly underneath if you prefer to use a five volt VTX. Now with this particular VTX, I'm actually running my power leads directly to the battery, but the versatility on this thing is unmatched. And the other very, very nice thing is that it contains multiple sets of five volt and ground pads and multiple sets of VBAT pads. This allows you to run Crossfire, Spectrum, pretty much anything that you can throw at it. Telemetry, you can have every need of yours met and it's laid out so nicely. Everything's together, the camera wires are all together. The, e the receiver wires are all together. And look how many extra pads I have. Those are just UARTs for the taking. Now I'm gonna undo this harness real quick. Now this is the one that's for the um, Acon. And wow, look how neat this all goes. So the way that I run this is I have it sitting like this. My receiver goes on the bottom, right underneath here. VTX on the top, as you can see. And camera goes right here. And uh, actually I have camera going uh, right here. So this would be the front, camera goes right here. And then my VTX antenna goes out the back like that. So easy. I can set one of these things up in minutes. So those are the reasons why. 
The pads are good. The layout is excellent. It has an F4 processor with OSD built in. Now look at what you see here. You actually have the legend. Now it's probably very small. It's like you have the legend of all of the input, so you don't have to look up everything online. They thought of everything. You can see right here that S bus is UR1. Crossfire is UR uh, T6. Anyway, I'm not going to like squint because you can look this up and you can read it on the flight control when you buy it. But it's all labeled for you. All the guesswork is taken out. This is the best. Now, some people are really saying that the Helio is is really up and coming right now so what is the dealio with the helio and i would have to say that it is still as of yet unproven now the new odin firmware just came out which i hear is leaps and bounds better but i t i know personally too many racers who are moving away from helio because of noise issues especially on 6s that they just could not eliminate and i know firsthand that some of those same racers by switching to this board were able to eliminate those issues so is helio the future uh possibly it is but for right now this contains the mp6000 gyro it contains the f4 processor and it is the most well laid out most thought out um, flight controller on the market so if you want to get something that you can use the same setup across the board and have these ready to go i usually have an extra setup like this just ready to go at a moment's notice i in fact i'll probably from now on just keep one of these uh in my bag when i go to the field so that if something goes wrong boom it's so easy to fly up um to put back into place instead of trying to troubleshoot is it my receiver is it my vtx now the flight controller itself um you're probably not ever going to burn one of those out but sometimes these other components do burn out and so it's nice to be able to just switch the whole thing out and because um it has just a quick harness you can just snip snap it in um are you and the other nice thing is when you do use the same flight controller across all your builds you can do your setup you know get your cli dump copy that to a text file and then when you do the next one it's just a copy and paste you're up in minutes your beta flight or butterfly setup now i actually am running butterfly on all of these um but it's you know is it really vastly superior i don't know it, i i prefer it but i don't think it's a huge difference either way so this is my recommendation guys if you haven't gotten into this go out and get it it's such a nice 33 dollars price tag and um, it's so versatile. Go out and get one.